Hey everyone, I'm Eric. With data, as with most things in life, what you get out is only as good as what you put into it. As Amen mentioned, personalizing the experience is really hard, but also one of the most important things you can do to optimize for your customers. But that personalization is only as good as the data you have to work with. If your data is inconsistent, processes won't be streamlined, and if they're not streamlined, sales can't move quickly, and customers are forced to repeat themselves. Having clean data in your systems allows you and your team to manipulate, analyze, and take action quickly so you can beat your competition, keep your internal teams informed and efficient, and at the end of the day, delight your customers. The data you collect from customers can easily get lost amongst a sea of systems, customers, and internal processes. And I'm gonna walk you through a workflow that removes the chaos and streamlines the processes. This workflow is one that your customer success teams can use as they're onboarding new customers. The workflow uses HubSpot, Typeform, Vitaly, and MailChimp, as well as Zapier apps, Filter, Formatter, and Code Steps. The teams who benefit from this workflow range across sales and onboarding, sales enablement, and marketing. Oh, and the workflow is built using Canvas, uh, our workflow diagramming tool. It makes it way easier to see what's going on in complex systems. It's in alpha right now, but we'll share the link to request access in the chat. It's been especially helpful here because I need other people to tie in to this system. Great, so we'll continue to use HubSpot from Amy's example. Now, after a prospect signs up for our service, their status is updated in HubSpot. When that status is changed to close one, it will trigger an onboarding email to be sent to the customer with a type form survey for them to complete. Now we build this type form survey to help us gather all of the information our onboarding managers need. This includes contact information for others on the account that maybe weren't part of the sales process, goals of their program, and any relevant files for the account. When that type form is completed, it will trigger a zap for their customer success team. This zap is going to take the information from our type form and find the correct records to update in HubSpot and Vitaly, our customer onboarding software. The important thing about this zap is that it keeps all of the data clean from our type form as it goes through the different steps. Here, you can see that we're using filter, formatter, and even code steps to help us process the data correctly and to make sure that the data is consistent across all of the platforms. The last step in this zap will be to notify the onboarding manager that they've been assigned a new client. After the message to the onboarding manager, we'll have it break into two separate paths. One is our self-serve onboarding. The other is our managed onboarding flow. In the self-serve onboarding flow, it's going to update the HubSpot record and then place them into an email sequence in MailChimp and then follow up with our team internally. This will provide them with consistent touches to help keep them engaged. In the managed onboarding path, we're going to take all of those notes from our earlier zap and create a new project for the onboarding manager. This will allow the onboarding manager to have a complete list of all of the tasks and pieces of training they need to help set the customer up for success. That's it for the customer success workflow. We went from the sales handoff to gathering client information, formatting it, and having it updated in HubSpot and Vitality so everything is consistent across different platforms. The value of this workflow is twofold. First, the processes should always anchor on data cleanliness. This prevents customers from having to fill out forms more than once, and it ensures your properties are always in sync, so you're not manually copying and pasting information between systems. Secondly, it ensures a smooth transition for, for internal teams. In this case, sales to onboarding, and it ensures they're notified when a new customer hits their queue. Not only that, but they now have access to all of the information that they need to connect with the customer so they're not starting to scratch, but already aware of their needs and problems to solve. The principles above apply to other use cases. So if this onboarding flow resonates with you, you could tie it back to the trial experience Eamon just walked us through or additional touch points you have for the customer once they're onboarded. Things like continuous education of your product, opportunities to expand the account, or ensuring you have really clean processes for collecting customer feedback. And if you're looking for ways to take it a step further, here's a couple ideas. We could use AI to send a summary of notes from the sales conversation 
uh, and onboarding survey to the onboarding manager. Or we could take what features they're most interested in and put them into an email campaign about those features. Or lastly, we could store data from Typeform in Zapier tables. All right, 